In a card store, I had an idea so bizarre that I could make cards cheaper by far. I bought a few things. The cash register did ring. Now my craft room's worth more than my car. Hi, I'm Sandy Alnock, design team member at Uzak.com, and I've got a card to share with you today. So first I'm stamping the image on white cardstock. Um, this is a penny black image called This One. This little guy has picked out just the right heart. I stamped it in Memento ink, which works great with Copic markers. Tuxedo black is the color. And I'm starting with my light blues. I want to put a blue halo around him, so he's sort of uh, running through the, the blue sky. So I put a little bit darker color right next to the image and then a little bit lighter color is what I'm using to feather it out and soften that color. This is speeded up about 300 times. So. so now I'm starting with the darker flesh tone colors and as I get into the lighter markers I just pull the color down with the marker and just kind of drag a little bit of the extra color in there that blends them very nicely. And I like to give Hedgie's feet and hands just a slightly different tone. You could color them the same as the flesh colors, but I like to give them a little pink pop. Now the warm gray colors is what I use for the little pricklies on our hedgehog. Um, starting with the darkest and then dragging lighter colors out. And a super light um, warm gray sort of blends that color into the tan colors in the flesh. The basket, I'm taking all the places where there's seams in the, in the basket and I'm giving those the darker colors and it gets lighter and lighter so it gives the basket just a little bit of dimension and coloring over top of the whole thing with my lightest brown to be able to blend all those colors together. And again the hearts have a dark red at their base so the second darkest of my reds is the one that blends that color in and then add a third color to blend all of it together. You can just color over top of Copic marker until it starts blending. The wetter the color, the better the blending. So now I'm starting to assemble the card itself. I had all my pieces pre-cut for this. I've got a layer for my image and then I'm going to be layering my uh, authentic pattern papers that I chose. This is from the Loyal line and I'm going to be laying, layering all those on a bit of green basil cardstock. The green will pull the green colors out of that nice paisley and make them stand out more on the card. Taking a border punch and punching along a piece of black cardstock so that I can add that across um, the entire card. I'm using ATG adhesive as you can see. I'm trying to do it quickly as I'm making this card so it looks a little on the sloppy side. But, but I love ATG tape. It is my absolute favorite by far. Some people say it takes a while to get the, um, the feel of how the gun works, but I personally have gotten used to it over the years and absolutely love it. So I used uh, washi tape that's by Queen and & Company and that um, wrapped around the card instead of a piece of ribbon. You can alternately, alternately use ribbon there. And then I'm adhering my image on the card. Have it offset so that I have room for the embellishment. The challenge for this card is using two designer papers and at least in one embellishment. So I'm using um, this little heart that I'm going to make. I punched it out and then hand trimmed around it. Some people are not up to hand trimming. That's perfectly fine. You can ink it an edge. You can use nestabilities. Um, I have some heart nestabilities, but they're not as tiny as this heart is that I wanted to use because I wanted it to be a very small embellishment on this card. So I'm taking a stamp from Hero Arts. This is an Operation Right Home fundraiser set that they have. Love all the sentiments in it. And I'm stamping the EXO stamp with the hugs and kisses, but I'm only using the hugs and kisses portion. And layering that on a piece of black cardstock so I can make a banner across the heart. So I'm going to attach it with the sentiment about centered across where I want it to rest on the heart. And then I'm just going to fold the rest back underneath. 
and hold all that in place with a little dimensional adhesive from 3M. Throw that onto the card. Now I have a strip across this. I was debating whether to go with pearls or with piercing, and I thought the pearls would maybe grab too much attention from the rest of the card. So I just put a little pe piercing detail in using my Tonic um, Tim Holtz piercer. I always add the liquid elements last so that I don't mess up the rest of the card that I've just created, and so I set that aside to dry. So tell me, were you ever under the impression that making things yourself was going to save you a boatload of money? Leave me a comment in the doobly-doo down below. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, favorite it, share it with your friends. And if you'd like more, I try to do weekly vlogs on this channel. Sometimes they're tutorials, but often they're just silly, so you can subscribe to see those. Or visit my other channel, Operation Right Home, and you can watch my weekly webcast. Have a great day! Thanks for watching!